Hi right, guys, we're going to show you how to bypass your router. This is one of the first things that when you call tech support, they're usually going to have you do. Um, a lot of times the router is what causes problems on your internet service. Um, so bypassing that router is one way that we can, we can test that to determine if that's your problem or not. Um, so let me show you what we've got here real quick. So we have the internet power supply, we have the router, and we have our good old computer over here. Uh, if you don't have a desktop system, you know maybe yours is desktop is bigger. Maybe you have a laptop or um, anything that has an Ethernet jack on it is what uh, you're going to plug into. Okay, so coming in from outside, you have the antenna outside, the cable that comes in, and it goes into the internet power supply from the LAN port on the internet power supply you have a cable that goes into the router what we want to do is unplug that cable and we'll set our router out of the way and unplug it just to make sure that there's no chance that our computer could be connecting wirelessly to the router and not through this cable we'll look at the back of our computer um, you're going to have an Ethernet port. At least we hope you have an Ethernet port. If you have a MacBook Air or one of the newer uh, MacBooks, you may not. So Ethernet port. Looks like a phone jack, only bigger. We're going to connect it in here. You'll hear that click. That means it's in there nice and tight. And that's what we want. And that's how we bypass our router. Now if you have the other type of power supply we talked about in the previous video I'll show you how to do that as well we'll connect everything back up here Okay, so we would have our antenna coming in from outside, going to the internet power supply, half inch by inch little black box here. The flat black cable that's on the other side of this, that is fixed, you cannot remove this flat black cable, goes into our internet port on our router. We would remove that from the router, leaving the line coming in from outside connected disconnect our router and set it out of the way. So you can see the line coming in from outside is still in the back of this little box. This flat black cable is what we want to take and plug it into our computer or our laptop or whatever device we're using. If we do this, which is unplugging the outside cable from this power supply, the antenna has no power and it will not work. So we have to be sure to leave this in the little black box and plug it in just like that. Alright, that's how you bypass your router for troubleshooting. Thanks, hope it helps.